And so um, I think that there is uh, some balance there that we can do. Um, I, I do think that this is really the first project that the city is taking on of, of this magnitude and this step. And I think that um, I, I'm hoping uh, the city council has been very in favor of renewable energies. And I hope that this is just the first of many projects to come. This is, uh, now, will this mostly just power the, uh, the new water treatment facility or um, kind of explain what it exactly powers there? Yeah, right now it will be just connected to the new water treatment facility. Okay. Um, the exact percentage of power, you know, that it will offset, we're not quite sure yet. It depends on the size and the actual design, but, uh, and it won't full it, or it won't power it fully, you know, 24-7. It will... It will offset the power when it's generating power in the in the facility. We'll use um, all of that, the majority of that power, depending on the size of it. Yeah. What are kind of the next steps uh, going forward then now after this information, after this information meeting? Yeah, we're gonna take all this and the previous information meeting that we had, and we're gonna bring it to the December seventh uh, commission meeting, the regular scheduled meeting. Uh, the commission will. You know, kind of talk about some of the feedback they've had. They'll look at the three different scenarios that we've prepared, that staff's prepared for them. Um, and, you know, they're going to have to make a decision moving forward. Are we going to move forward into a smaller array into design uh, so that we um, can get even more details, dive down what kind of actual cost savings, what are the dollars, and then how it will fit on the site, uh, aesthetics, what can we do to... Um, make sure that everybody here in the neighborhood is comfortable as well um, and then uh, be ready for whenever funding becomes available that we can apply for directly yes so. because uh, there was a little discussion obviously the infrastructure bill's been passed but we're still at a stage where we really don't know what that means for Wausau or Marathon County really any any area right yeah correct we don't know how to access those funds yet uh, the federal government hasn't put out the uh, you know the means of what we have to do to actually access it so we're impatiently waiting as the mayor says so we're uh, mm -hmm. yeah do you know what the, what the cost of this project would be then for the solar equipment and everything like that yeah i mean obviously the largest array was about 2.2 million dollars um obviously we're scaling that back the the mid-sized array uh was just over 1 million about 1.2 and the smaller array was about 600,000. So then uh, there, uh, Alder Lisa Rasmussen was here. She kind of laid out some of the um, steps because there's going to be a lot of entities that have to approve this as well because, as she said, you have to go through the commission and then the council too, right? Yeah, that's correct. So the, the utility commission is really going to decide what's best for the utility and make a recommendation moving on to the city council because the city council is actually the one who's going to approve you know you, you know any borrowing that's needed for this any money that's going to be needed for this whether it's arpa dollars or infrastructure dollars um and then also for the land itself to be used for this in in accordance with the city zoning code it has to be rezoned and so then we'll also have a public hearing at the plan commission um, and then once it, if it does get rezoned, which will go to council for final approval, then we'll have to do a conditional use through the plan commission as well, which will be another public hearing. I guess my last question, there was some discussion about land that the city owns that's actually in the village of Maine. Yeah. If that could be used for this in the near future, uh, give us an idea. Is, I guess that's spitballing right now. Is that a starter though? Could that be a possibility? I, I think, you know, right now we haven't found any property up there that we can actually get the foundations put in the ground because it's all fill material from old construction debris and things like that, right? So, um, and we don't know how deep that goes down if we can remove that and then use it. But these solar fields, typically we drive pilings. So we have a lot of, uh, not a lot of disturbance. You know, we don't big, Big, big pits like we're putting pipe and stuff in the ground we just we drive pilings from the surface and we mount those and and that land up there the way it's been filled and what it's filled with is not conducive to that so right now i i, I couldn't say that in the future we would be able to do that about, uh, about how much space would it, would it take up um, for the, the solar project you know of I guess. Yeah, I got acres or how Yeah, right. Well, the, the property that we're looking at right now is about a, um, an eight-acre parcel. Um, the largest array would take up about seven acres of that. Um, and then the smaller array would probably take up, I, I don't know the exact numbers, be about three acres. 
um, of that in the smallest array, I think might be one and a half acres, something like that, of that property. Okay. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to add? I just that there are um, there is a way that people can write in uh, public comment um, it, we did send out a public notice uh, it should be posted on the website and there's a link there for an email if anybody wants to provide comments and support or uh, otherwise for it they're welcome okay all right Perfect.